I started my morning. I need to be entering YouTube um, comments and such. But I started my morning by doing a flat Stanley. And I know that the people it's going to probably don't even watch our channel. So um, it's for homeschool group. We put a cowboy hat <laughs> and a bandana on flat Stanley. He even has a back. I had to cover it because he uh, the glue was sticking out. And then I tried to do boots, but they wouldn't fit over his shoes and cover up without looking stupid. Then we have, um, we did Holly, Buttercup, Bidet, and Coop. And we kind of tried to make them look like it. And on the back, we're going to write their name. And we're going to go out and take pictures of Flat Stanley. Hence why we added a stick and act like he's, like, on them. So, um, we're hoping nothing eats them, but we'll see. So, Bidet has done it before for a Flat Stanley project. Miss Buttercup has not. Holly has not. And Coop, I think, did. So, um, anyway, Flat Stanley will be traveling. I'll take him around. I'm hoping to get my truck back this week. If I do, I'm going to take him to the Dalton Defender Days Museum and do some Flat Stanley with him there. Um, the Brown Mansion is closed, unfortunately. It closed October 1st, so we won't be able to do that. But... I'm going to find some really cool places to take him. There's a, a air and space museum in Coffeeville, and I'm going to take him up there. Um, I don't know that I'll take him as far as Tulsa, but we'll see what we can find out with and do with him. Um, of course, he's going to do a bunch of chores around the farm. so And then we'll include those pictures of him actually doing that. And like I said, the Dalton Defender Days thing will be, um, I'll take him to the actual Isham's um, hardware store which was where all the guys met and got guns and ammo to defeat the Daltons. So, those that don't know, um, Lenapa, Oklahoma is 11 miles from Coffeeville, Kansas, which is where the Daltons were taken down while they were trying to rob two banks at the same time. So, um, it, it's just kind of a history thing, and we, we loved to incorporate it, and it's something different that not too many people do, I don't think. So, um and we don't know if they know. So he he's this is Flat Stanley, the cowboy homesteader from the um he's traveling the prairies and he's coming back with animals and he'll go do some history. I don't know. I might take him to Claremore to the gun museum. Who knows? Who knows? We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so the trees are starting to lose their leaves, but I think it's just because of the wind. Um we have a bunch of crawdad holes that I've been stepping on the whole way through here. The spinach is climbing back up. I still haven't gotten the new string out here to hold it, but it's climbing, so I'm happy. It's not dead. <laughs> All right, so yesterday there was a ton of flowers out here, and um, unfortunately, the wind has come up, and if the flowers are damaged, they won't produce fruit. Um, with the cold and all of that, I think our, see, these are, still growing on the vine and it's just so cold but they're not really changing color either so I don't know um, see how that's going you see there's another flower down there I don't know why the leaves are turning black but these are gourds so if they dry on the vine that's okay and if you look there's one, one there's what's some over here I don't know there it is see there's some there but if you look, this thing is still flowering, but these aren't changing color. So they, they're changing how they feel. I don't know. So we're just going to let them go overripe. I took two and harvested it, and it wasn't done. They were green. Oh, see, there's one over there. There's one here. Um, I have no idea what that pretty little blue bug is. I hope you saw that. It, they're like metallic, aqua. They're gorgeous looking. I don't know what they are, but they're gorgeous looking. Um, this will be the last year that we use this trellis system. I ordered my canopy parts. Um, and I'm going to get the EMT conduit to make our um, new trellis. There is a wonderful video by... I'll have to look it up and put the link below in this blog. It's... Uh, Asian garden to table, I believe, but it's not T-O. It's got the number two in it. So it's Asian garden, all one word, the number two 
table and she is amazing and she has an awesome video about how to build this really sturdy trellis that even lasted hurricane irma so i'm tickled with that but here is a bell pepper plant and i am tempted to dig this thing up and put it in a uh, container and see if i can't house it through the winter oh there's a pepper how cool is that i'll have to come out here and cut it off woohoo the rest of the other plants see there's another plant pepper plant right here um but they're being taken over by these boards so there there see it it's a pepper plant and i was told you could house them over the winter so i might dig them up and take them inside and house them over the winter to see what happens um i don't know for sure then I haven't really seen a whole lot of boards out here. I didn't notice that these are done. So somebody told me that it could be a pinched vine, it could be the vine itself is dying, it could be squash bugs. I don't know if squash bugs are not, but you can see like right out there and nothing's changed. I, I haven't been out here down there. It's still big. So um and it's still growing outward look this is growing up and keep growing and this is dying so I don't know I, I don't know if I don't think we had any frost but who knows and this one right here <laughs> we haven't found any gourds in um, as you can tell it's taking everything over there's the lemon which is still surviving oh. probably shouldn't rip it out because that's gonna hurt my lavender there or lilac whatever mmm this stuff smells amazing so anyway the lemon is doing good it's going to seed all of these are flowers and I left this to go to seed I harvested the rest of it but I want this to go to seed so um, it will establish really well and we have we now have vines all the way out here so I need to get this under control but it's still growing and the good thing, I want you to check this out, and I am going to kind of baby this and keep the vines off. That is time. If you remember, I originally, see there's the marker, and see these? These are time. I had originally planted time in here. Now, is it gonna make it through the winter? Probably not, probably not, but worth a shot. I did grow time in the time cup though. Technicality that it's, you know, right before you know, it's October before it showed up, but hey! Um, and the fact that I harvested the zucchinis out of there. See, you can't see down in here, so I don't know. I see flowers, and it's flowering. There is actually a little trellis up in there. There was a tomato plant in there. I don't know if there's anything going to be there. Um, I do have some seeds. I'm going to come down here today, and my goal today is to... Um, Number one, get my trees. See, there's been some bugs on them and they've eaten uh, some of the leaves off of my trees here. But I'm going to clear that out so I can see. The way I had looked at it and RJ thought, see here how this is all caved in? You see, it looked like a rabbit's den. So it looked like there was bunnies in there, which really was a part of the tree in the first place. Anyway, so that one, and then I'm gonna plant I'm going to clear out these, and I have marigold seeds to drop in there. Fall is the perfect time to plant marigold seeds. I know people look at me and go, too hot. Um, I plant them in fall for the next year. So, and as you can tell, our strawberry bed has been taken over once again by the grass. And I'm going to come down here and weed eat. If you look, though, this is still doing good. There, there's still strawberries in there. Um, just weedy. And so we'll take out these weeds. And then I've got the strawberry plants. This end down here isn't as hardy. It, it just has a few plants. But I've got that other tub that I'm gonna bring down and fill in these holes with so that next year this will just be a big mound of strawberries. So um, the goal today is to get the strawberries and the marigolds done and to clean out these two little baby trees that I tried to keep going. So, my weed eater and I don't know we'll see um, 
I thought I might mow this real quick and get it so that the birds can have their um, food for the winter. So we'll be feeding the birds down here this year. But we'll see. Okay, so I didn't get back out to the garden, but what I did <laughs> was play around with this. I found a really simple little ponytail pattern and I really liked the way it was done and I like how stretchy this is with crochet it's a little bit harder to get that ribbed stretchiness um there are a couple ways to do it but I kind of like in the way that this pattern portrayed this it's a hair tie um it's not my idea okay I'm just improvising I didn't do her actual pattern but um close kind of a suggested recipe kind of thing um and then, of course, I'm doing my own stitch down here and making it. So this will be the ponytail, those ponytail um, hats. This will be the top. That will be woven in. It'll look like that. And this is orange and black. Um, it's for OSU colors. And I'm going to make, I hope to make, see all this yarn here? RJ picked all of this out. Not going to happen, but I'm going to make a few. Um, and I hope that they're going to, uh, I don't know, maybe three or four. I know he's picked out a lot of yarn just for three or four. He liked the green, he liked the red, I like the peach, there's pink. Um sorry about that, I dropped you. <laughs> um so I'm gonna pick a couple of colors and probably have four or five of these made for my craft shows. Just because I can. You know how that goes. <laughs> but anyway, um this is it will let me take that out. It's actually gonna be like a stocking cap and it will turn up so it'll be like so and then I'll put I don't know I don't know what I'll do but anyway it'll be like so and it'll have a big rim I think I like it with the big rim I don't know I may um do it shorter just the length on some of them I don't know so I will this is what I've been working on um ran RJ to town never did get back out to the garden I've got to start my winter list. Tomorrow I'm going to get up early and just crack down uh, because I just have too much going on. And then, as if I didn't have enough to do, I sat here last night while watching TV and made some of these. And then so today I got up and decided I was going to work some more on them. And they're just ornaments for the little craft shows. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I've been doing that and just here and there whatever so lee's bringing chili dogs home and the roll of wire so i'm gonna get off here eat some dinner when he gets home and um get my act together how's that for you